everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. You're watching Clark's Homestead Adventures. So this week's been kind of crazy. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on, but it's a big week. Big week up for me, at least. Uh, this week, me and Renee celebrate our 13th wedding anniversary. And uh, got some pictures to show you, believe it or not. We have taken pictures together on our first date. Now, she says it's not our first date, but I beg to differ. We're married now. It was our first date. We went to Dave & Buster's and went to a hockey game, the Tornadoes in Frisco. 13 years. She hasn't killed me. Yet. There's always another day. But anyway, we've been married 13 years. She's loved my life. I love her to death. Uh, wouldn't trade her for the world. Uh, she lets me live my dream every day. She lives her. She loves doing what she does as a BCBA and uh, working with those kids. My hat's off to her because God knows I couldn't do it. Anyway, those pictures I was saying about, believe it or not, yes, we took pictures together on our first date. And, uh, well, here's a picture of our first date and the happy one, the second happiest day of my life. Now, I'll tell you that because the happiest day of my life was the day I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Second happiest day was the day I married her, and James is right behind that when he was born. But anyway, here's the pictures. Our first date at the Tornadoes hockey game. And then this is a day, one of the my favorite pictures from the day when we got married. Anyway, folks, there it is. Hope you enjoy the video. Sit back, enjoy the show, and now on with the video so does anybody else's kids do this we're getting ready for this <laughs> it's a fortnight live event if your kids do this to you and torture you in such a manner please leave me a comment below <laughs> Warning, the following stunt should only be done by professionals. We recommend you please don't try this at home. Just all of that. He's a hog. Hey 
Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, you know, we have more on the farm than just goats. And, uh, well, you've met River, one of our llamas. We actually have two of them. But there's one person you haven't met yet. So I'm gonna take you out now and see if I can introduce you to her. Her name's Angel. She's my horse. And here she comes. River, we know who you are. This is who we wanna see. What you doing, girl? This is Angel. This is my Carmelo horse. Basically, she's albino. She's a dirty horse. But she's a good girl most of the time. All right. Let's go check out see who else we might be able to find all right more animals that's easy that's our great pyrenees she was a rescue dog there's Maisie, our lab golden lab she was a gift to my son for his birthday from his sister here comes one of the troublemakers this that would be duchess she's a troublemaker she is half lab and half pit. Matter of fact, Maisie's her mother. Here's Claire. She's hanging out with her girls. Like I said, she's the goat's guard dog. I don't know why y'all are not out grazing. It's a pretty kind of cool day. Y'all really need to be out grazing. There's Claire. She loves the puppies. There's another puppy around here. Just got to find it. All right, troublemaker number two, this is Duke. This is her, uh, Duchess's full brother. He likes to hang out under the truck. Acts like he's in trouble. This is Earl. Earl was the run of the bunch. What you doing, Earl? What you doing, Earl? Anyway, he was a runt. He is the third puppy we have, and uh, he's definitely a character. He's a snuggle bud, but he's our third puppy. So pretty much that's it. We do have some cats. I'll show them to you at some point. Uh, they're cats. They pretty much ignore you unless they want something from you, which is either food, water, or attention. But uh, we do have an outside cat. I don't see her out she's probably out around the barn uh, her name's sister cat and i'll get a video of her she's really cool but she's an outside cat too it's one reason i really like her hey everybody welcome to jane's adventures by myself revealing my halloween decorations here we go Whoop! You see it go whoop! First time ever, guys, using. You actually using the Hero 9. We got a Hero 9, and we're. I'm recording this on the Hero 9. See the big inflatable. Okay, let's do the big inflatable. Eat. Hey parents, if you're ever looking at an inflatable, here's the instructions. Um, when it's raining or storming, unplug it from the house. And um, when you're putting it up, I'll make sure no stakes are in the box. And also, um, want, make sure parents, if you're actually wanting to teach your kids to do it, um, make sure you find the perfect size for their age. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Comment if you like this video. We'll do a night reveal to show our um, lights. Peace tonight, mystery of the history.
surprise. <laughs> Whoa, we're in the dark. Um, let's go see the stuff, the inflatables at night. Let's go. And get to see the pumpkins. And I don't want to pay for them. <laughs> the stores and the things like something the bed. Then grab this and then won't touch me. You can see it a lot. I don't want to show you the big inflatable guys. It's just it's it doesn't light up that good, but I'll still do it for you guys. I wish I had the light. We had the light, Mama. Not like catching it that well, but is that kind of creepy, guys? With the I know you can probably can't tell, but there's leaves on them that makes it creepy. Okay, we'll see you to the big inflatable. All right, everybody, that's kind of what's been going on around here. Uh, not a whole lot going on this week, and I apologize. I've been meaning to film more. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to. Uh, it, it's just been kind of crazy as usual. And I'm new to this. I don't think about always grabbing my camera when I go out. I apologize. Still working on editing, finding a good editing software. Uh, kind of going from there on that. Uh, today, though, although you'll be seeing this at a later date, uh, it'll be a couple days before this actually posts. Today is a very special day. Uh, other than we have dogs that are just crazy <sighs> they're worse than having toddlers anyway today's a very special day on this day 13 years ago I married my best friend the love of my life uh, my just everything literally uh, today we celebrate 13 years of marriage now people wonder why 13 that's such an unlucky number i disagree uh i'm born i was born on the 13th uh my daughter was born on the 13th we were married on the 13th 13 is kind of our number our lucky number and uh so i know she'll be watching this at some point so renee i love you you are my everything and thank you for doing what you do for our family and allowing me to chase my dreams of doing this. I farm, raise goats, raising the horse, raising llamas. We got some cows. Uh, we have some donkeys. Uh, you know, thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity at this stage in my life to do what I love and to chase my dreams. You know, I love that you do what you do and how much you love doing what you do. And uh, she's a school teacher, a very talented school teacher. Okay, I got to brag on her. She is a miracle worker with the kids she works with. She's a behavioral teacher. She's just a special breed of person that God put on this earth. I love you, honey. Thank you so much for 13 years. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. You are my everything. All right, everybody, that is going to end today's video. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. God bless. Always remember, live life. That's what we do. Be happy. Just live life. Make every day a great day.